Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here and welcome to episode 55 of Let's FIFA 13 and I actually have quite a lot of stuff I want to talk about which isn't really gameplay but uh, just quickly to let you know, we go into the final of the Gold Cup to see if we can complete the challenge with the 11 man skill squad and uh, while that game roll over the screen and you'll see Jaja and the defense make some really stupid decisions in this game uh, but while that roll, roll over the screen I'll talk a little bit about the different things, the first thing being I'm very very close to hit the 100,000 subscribers which I'm very very grateful for and it's like a huge milestone I feel and um, a few weeks ago it looked like I was going to hit the 100,000 subscriber very very close to the date where uh, my channel is 5 years old and I thought of making like a thank you video and an anniversary video combined together uh, around the 26th of June but over the past 2 weeks I've been gaining a lot of subscribers quite surprised about it and uh, it seems like it'll be in one to two days or maybe three days I'll hit that hundred thousand subscribers and I, I'm not ready for for like a thank you video that soon because my exam starts up in the same amount of time like it starts up in the beginning of next week and I'll be using quite a bit of my time preparing for that and that will also mean I'll probably will upload a four to four to five videos a week instead of trying to upload seven which I've done the past two weeks because I've had quite a bit of time on my hands so just letting you know that the hundred thousand thank you video will be alongside kind of an anniversary video uh, on the 26th of June instead of yeah in the beginning of next week because you kind of surprised me with the amount of you guys starting to subscribe to my channel over the past two weeks so as I said I'm very grateful for it but I'll just have to postpone it a little bit and yeah exams coming up so I'll probably be a little bit busy uh, and meaning I'll have to cut down a little bit on the uploads the next two to three weeks and then get it back on schedule after that so uh, just letting you know about that and as you saw in the gameplay I did manage to win the final of the Gold Cup in a game where I got quite lucky and my opponent was indeed a subscriber uh, going with a few skill moves and in the end yeah I got quite lucky to win the game and then I went into the League One Cup I win the semi-final by a rage quit from my opponent and I go into the final and I come up against the squad which was really really good a few informs a team of the season and a few silvers as well I get my first chance in the second half because he was really good at defending not gonna lie difficult to break him down and uh, it is slots I'm breaking through here and making it 1-0 in the 15th minute and I get another chance in the 74th minute but it is safe and then in the 86th minute I thought he was going to pass across because he had gone with that kind of the gameplay style throughout the game but he goes with a nice fake shot surprises me and he makes it a 1-1 and as you can see very very even on the on the stats at full time but into extra time I would completely dominate I don't believe he had a single shot in on goal I tried off on different angles and distances to to get a goal but his keeper would just save every single shot I had in on goal and from the corner here I'll head it over Ibrahimovic breaking through once again denied by the keeper and just a two minute or five minutes later is Lopez on the ball making his way into the box and saved once again so we go into the penalty shootout I get quite lucky on my first shot there and the penalty shootout was quite laggy so I guess that's the reason why he missed his first shot I'll convert my second shot looking quite good he steps up will convert it as well Valbuena gets a shot in as well to to give me that a two goal lead but he will convert his next shot and he's getting a little bit closer and uh, Levesi stepping up he dives the right way I get a very lucky once again he will convert his shot with Remy and I can win it all if I just can convert it with a menace but he will save it and that was really really frustrating he steps up with gun alone and he uh, he can lose it if he misses it but he will convert it and then yeah I lose connection really really frustrating because it was a game like I had the game within my reach winning the final and then he scores in the dying minutes of the game I control the extra time complete couldn't get the goal I had my chance to win the penalty shootout but missed my shot and in the end I lose connection and lose the final he was a very good player not gonna take that away from him but I was really really frustrated that I didn't get my chance to like just see if I can win the penalty shootout in the end but nonetheless I lose the game and then I decided it was time to, to build a new challenge squad I've seen quite a few suggestions one were being a two star skill squad all round and I would like to get around that as well and another one being a bronze squad for the gold cup see if I can win the gold cup with a bronze side and uh, that was one of the things I thought would be really fun to try out so I decided to go out and build a bronze squad so we're picking up uh, quite a few different players here from I'll guess it's around the French players 
as the MLS and uh, the N Power League One. Uh, with a few four star skillers, of course, we'll be looking to see if we can get a few skill goals going. Uh, I'll not be getting Lee Turtle because he might suit a bronze tournament, but a gold tournament, he he's just too bad. Like his touch and his speed is. It's just not gonna work. So I'm going with uh, some of the better four-star skillers you can find uh, of bronze players. We get a Benzi, of course, as a striker, and uh, we will get a uh, Gessel as our center mid. Uh, he won't get the perfect chemistry, but still, he will do all right. We pick up a few four free, free formation modifiers, and we pick up Envoto as our last player for a center back, and that will uh, pretty much be how our squad looks. A quite strong bronze side, I say. On goal, we have. Uh, on goal we have Hard Talk, which uh, looks to be quite good. He's very, very tall and all around a good stats for a bronze keeper, I'd say. Rose as our first center back, very, very fast. And the same goes for Mvoto, which also is uh, quite a big and strong. Right back we do have a Dumbuya, uh, 86 pace, pace and medium, medium work rates. And on the left back we have Ash with the 89 pace and high attacking work rate, medium defensive work rate. The first center mid is a Grand. He links nicely up with a Taylor on the right wing and the two other in power League One players. Then we have then we have Gessel as our center mid. He only gets five chemistry, but in the past few weeks I've tried out squads with players not having the perfect chemistry, and he do all right. Now there's a glitch on the left center mid. He does get nine chemistry on the web app, but on the console it shows up as he got uh, f uh, seven chemistry, and uh, it also uh, affects the total chemistry of the team. The total chemistry is 95, but it's just a little bit of a glitch on the console. On the left wing, we do have Kanji. He's a little bit similar to Ibrahimovic, very big and strong, and he got uh, quite a few skill moves on him. Wish he had the five star skills, and he would be just like Ibrahimovic. And the final player of the squad is Bentia, which is such a good player. Used him in a bronze squad a few months ago, and uh, you know, I really did like using him back then. So he's back into a squad. And and we do also have Taylor with the 91 pace and the 4 star skills. So that is pretty much the bronze squad we'll be going with. We add a squad morale here too to get ready for a game and I know quite a few of the players does not have uh, the perfect fitness so I did actually go on and pick up a few cheap uh, fitness cards for 200 co coins by now didn't really show it here but uh, I applied that and then I went into the gold cup and for my first game look at the squad I come up against like Wow, I was just thinking, oh no, this is not gonna go good. And I get my first chance here with Kanji, but it is saved. And a few minutes later, Kanji once again on the ball, finding a Camargo there, but it goes wide. And instead, he goes with some really nice step overs there to go past two of my defenders, and he will hit it in off the post to make it 1 0. And then I was ready to go on a counter-attack and I was really annoyed that the referee stopped the play. But then I realized he got a player sent off. And after that I started to dominate a little bit more. I find a bench here, here in the 81st minute going with a few skill moves back and forth. He tried to defend it but in the end I will get the goal to make it 1-1. And I wanted to see what he did because he did pause the game after I got the red card. And as you can see here he did put Kadira as a right back. So when we started the, the extra time I knew I was going to attack down the left wing to see if I can uh, exploit him using Kadira as the uh, right back and it's a Kanji on the ball here running a little bit back and forth and I could just see I couldn't skill my way in so I decided to cross it in and it's a grand heading it in to make it 2-1 not the best of goals but it was really a game where he had the better team and it was really difficult to find his space and chances so I I just took my chances where I could find them I get a shot in there with Kanji but he goes way over the goal he's once again on the ball trying out a shot but hard will deny him and then in the 120th minute I'll hit him on a counter attack there Sergio Ramos trying to push Taylor off the ball but a little fixture to get a bit of space we find a completely open grand and he will kind of go with a P roller over the line to make it a free one and that is pretty much where the game ends it was quite even on the stats as you can see he had a lot of long shots because well I had a bronze keeper he wanted to challenge him but in the end I was lucky enough to win the game and that will pretty much be the end of the episode guys I hope, hope you did enjoy it I'll have another one out tomorrow and that's all thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. <laughs>